Hey everyone, Izzy and MJ from Endless RV, and this is an important video. We've done videos like this before. In fact, we did a video probably six months ago about a family of five that tragically died in a motor vehicle crash involving a Class A motorhome that had a tire blowout. That video received a lot of views. It also received a lot of positive feedback because in that video, we gave some safety tips, including one item that would have probably saved that whole family's life. And a lot of you guys reached out to us and told us that you really appreciated it. And is, even if one person's life was able to be saved because of that video, we think it was well worth it. So this is a follow-up video on another tragedy. And we don't like doing videos like this. But like I said in the last video, like we said, whenever there's a tragedy, whether it's an RVing or some kind of terrorist attack or anything, there's always something that can be learned. And we want people to learn from this tragedy. Yeah, and whenever we do these videos, we do get comments mostly positive, but some people say, oh, you're negative or this and that. Look guys, we have a platform and we have a lot of people that watch our channel. And as Izzy said, if we can get the word out there that taking something so unfortunate like this, but that somebody could go, oh wow, I didn't do that because of this. That's the goal and that's a big part of our channel is education. So we want to share this with you in hopes that hopefully it can avoid a tragedy for somebody else. So this particular story came out a few days ago, but we're gonna be referencing the USA Today article that was originally posted April 8th of 2024. The headline is pediatrician on the way to see solar eclipse dies after falling out of Airstream. And we're gonna give it a little more particulars in this and then what was missing and just kind of what's universally accepted by RVers, although this family just didn't know that. So the victim was Dr. Monica Warrenica, I believe, and she's a 58 year old pediatrician. This happened in New York and they were on their way traveling to view the solar eclipse, which yes, many, many people, people were, right? So they were on a highway in New York, Route 12 East in Jefferson County, which is in the Northern part of the state and they were traveling separately. The husband was driving the pickup truck and Dr. Warnica, along with other family members, were traveling in the 2024 Airstream, which was, uh, being, was moving on the highway, being towed by the pickup truck. Unfortunately, what happened was wind blew open the door and I guess her arm came out and tried to grab it or something and was ejected from the airstream, hit her head on the side of the road, and unfortunately it was a fatal accident. Quite a few things here. The one thing that I said in the three articles we read that was not mentioned was being a passenger in a moving trailer is, it's not safe. It's not recommended. It's, it's in many states illegal. I don't know New York if that's illegal, but clearly there's reasons for that. Not only can you be ejected like this doctor unfortunately was, but trailers with their fifth wheels of travel trailers they're not constructed to have passengers when they're in motion there's no restraint systems the construction of the suspension is bad they sway and when they crash they usually explode and, and we've, we've done many videos just showing them we'll put some in b-roll to what the result is when a travel trailer or towable crashes right it just especially with the sway and we've seen that on many occasions where there were accidents. I remember that one that was hanging over the side, over the embankment, mm -hmm. dangling over the water. Luckily, there was nobody in that one. But I know a lot of people also, guys, well, I will see in Facebook groups and things, in RVing with dogs groups and things like that, people are asking you, do you travel with your pet in your trailer? No, don't ever do that. You keep them in your tow vehicle with you safe because again, it can come separate and, and go over an embankment and it's gone. Something like this, the door can open, which also leads us to something else, which is, you know, we always double check when we travel, we always say, are the steps up? Are, is it's the actually dead every on? single time. It so is every single usually time. Usually MJ will direct me out. And the first thing I put on the radio are the levelers up, is the step up, 
is the liquid spring all the way up. Those right. are the three things, and right. she visually checks, and then we know we're ready but to then, go. But then, but my point is that you want to make sure that those doors are locked as well. So who's ever driving or whatever, you, you know, if you have a trailer, make sure first of all that you're not on it, but that those doors are locked. Even if nobody was on there, if a wind blew it open, you're gonna, it's gonna cause things to eject from the trailer, and possibly cause an accident on the road. So this was a 2024 Airstream. There's no way of knowing if this was their first RV or not. I have a feeling that maybe they were very new to RVing. Uh, most experienced RVers would probably know not to travel in the travel trailer, but this is why we're doing this. We have an RV channel, we have a large following, and hopefully if new RVers are learning, they'll come across this video and not make this fatal mistake because it's just something that was very easily preventable and tragically, a doctor died, a mother died, a wife died. It, it's just very unfortunate and very sad that something was just so preventable. So that's the reason why we're doing it, guys. We want your feedback on this. Please share this video, guys, especially with newer RVers. If you know people that are just getting into the RVing lifestyle, to many of us, it seems obvious, but to newer people that are just learning, it may not be. We all were, learned something the first time. We're all beginners. Mm -hmm. We made a lot of stupid mistakes, but we also learned a lot through those mistakes, and we learned a lot through more experienced RVers, and now we're in the position that we can try to give some of that back, some of that information. So in the comments below, let us know, have you heard about this story? Do you know anybody that's doing this? Are you going to share this with somebody? Hopefully save a crash, injuries, potential tragedy. That is the goal of this video. And if you like videos like this, to the left of us, we'll put our RV newbies playlist, we'll put our RV news playlist, and for myself and MJ, it's a journey of a lifetime, and we'll see, see you, you on, on the, the road. road.